Hello everybody, all over the world. Hello and welcome to High GPS 163 with perfectly aligned text. What the fuck? Well, fuck it, it has to go even though this thing's like slightly out of line, but seriously, who cares? Except me. Alright, so, um, we're gonna do a coaching episode today. Not sniper, for a change, we're gonna do medic. And I used to be a main medic before I was a main sniper. And um, we're going to give some tips to that, because there's generally not enough medic help these days, you know. But before that, I got a new jar. With something in it. Can we get the focus on that? It's a sparkling sparkling. What is this? Delicious sugar and stuff. Ready for a show. Somebody asked before if I was a Game Grumps fan. The answer is yes. Can you see? Yeah. Got one of those shirts. I am not using the shirt because I have, you know, a uniform. It's red and blue and white. Colors of Team Forest 2. So, we're going to go into... Well, uh... Fine, we'll do that later. We'll just go into the game right away. So, this is... An upward match. We're gonna be watching the medic POV cam. We're actually gonna have outlines on, and that's gonna be it. So, in the meantime, I will be uh, taking a look at the team because I have not been managing my time as well as I should. People go I always say, you know, I didn't have time for X and Y, and I just like I just I just slept until 5:45 on Sunday, and I woke up at nine. And I snoozed every half hour until 3 o'clock today. So that's six hours of snooze, so... I am like, I really... Like, I fucking waste my time, okay? It's essentially what I'm doing. So, it hasn't started yet. I'm just trying to find... Shop. Just trying to find the, um... His team in UGC. Uh, let's see if I can find it on their webpage. This is important. Let's see. Yes, IPX, Euro Iron. So this is European team. I'm just taking a look at their history. They have two wins and two losses. And we're going to be watching their game today versus the the nth, the NH, the Night Howlers. Oh. This is essentially what we're going to do. So we're just going to focus on his medic play, see if it's up to date. Of course, this is Iron. Doesn't necessarily mean that the players are bad. It just means that their teamwork is bad compared to prep, flat, whatever. So basically, we're just gonna wait until the gates are about to open. He's gonna run regular Uber, and we're gonna see how they do this. Usually, you know, in the top division, everybody just goes left side, but they're gonna go right side for a change. So always nice to see some new strategies. Let's see how they execute it. And uh, he has a heavy, heavy at a demo with him. Very standard, uh, you know, strategy. You just have those two classes together at all times. And they, I think they spotted. Have they spotted everyone? Oh, they should have. And uh, since they are the attacking team, they kind of just have to go whenever they feel like it's already their uh, demo man. I think he killed the dispenser in a century. I'm just gonna run out into another Uber. He's gonna come out on top of that one. Positioning wise, they're pretty even, so it looks like, yeah, it looks like they came out on top, so not too bad. One thing I want to emphasize on when it comes to playing any class in the game is just to have very good basics. You know, I do, I do dancing, I dance the boogie woogie style, and I dance swing. And, uh, you know, you can never get too much of the basics, never be uh, fully you know, perfect with basics, so the same is for Team Fortress 2 in any class. You just work on your basics. And the basics for Medic is basically heal everyone and look around and pay more attention to your teammates than you pay attention to the enemy. Because if you do, you will be able to spot every spy, and that is a spy. He spotted him. Could potentially have contested him a bit more and get that 25% uber with you yourself, so I would have liked to see some more aggression. Basically, you know what you want to do as a medic? Spies should basically be free Uber for you. Like, because you will always see, what is this? This is some kind of strange hole that I've never seen before, but uh, it's a tunnel hold. Probably famous strat in uh, 
iron, as they're just gonna blow through and actually just destroy everything, because they have Uber and the enemy team does not. So they kill the sentry. People seem a bit disjointed and doesn't have the proper reaction time they need to in order to do that, but he got out of there alive. He has a 7% Uber. Not too sure about the enemy, because, you know, this isn't a source TV, so I can't actually check. So, yeah. Basically, uh, if you pay attention to your team more than you pay attention to the enemy, you will see every single spy every single time. And standing like this is not advisable, uh, because you're just standing around doing nothing. And there's actually people on the cart, so, well, the scout should have gone and helped the cart and not just actually just stood there, so that was kind of weird. So, as for uber building, I'm never really fond of... Oh, what happened here? Wait, wait, hold on. Did we visit? Let's go to 17000. So this happened the first time I watched, and I have no idea what happened. So we're just gonna uh, speed things up a little bit. Yeah, okay, so it's gonna go into the tunnel. Okay, so we're gonna enable cheats, because we're a bunch of cheaters. We're gonna enable third person. It's in here he is. Okay, so here he is. He's gonna move down. This is the best uh, we can do. He's wearing the Halloween mask, because apparently this was on Halloween or something. So, just regular speed, and he jumps and gets stuck. How? This... Well, he just had to kill himself. Telling the famous OMFG fix the map plocks, but here we go. Thanks to power fast forward, we're back. And now the scout's gonna decide that he's gonna be running the Boston Basher to help build. And I'm not really fond of this kind of play because it's very, very passive. And I always mention this in the cast, but this applies to medic as well. The longer you wait, the more you increase the chance of something going wrong. Like here, we have uh, five. Five out of nine people are just hanging out playing grab ass around this point. They're not doing anything. Uh, if you're gonna play grab ass, play grab ass in the enemy's base while you shoot at them. So also you're gonna see him healing snipers. Uh, generally on upward, you want to keep your snipers fully overhealed because uh, he will be able to deal a lot more uh, with the other stuff. And I guess they're just gonna go with an Uber. But what do they know of the enemy team? Like, has the spy, you know, relayed any information of what's going on? What is so terribly terrifying that they can't, you know, afford to go around and even push? And, uh, there's actually not a lot stopping them. They can just, whenever they felt like it, just go and attack. And this is the problem with a lot of, well, I can't say problem. It's, like, very common for lower division teams that they read the situations wrong and see the sentry is completely undefended. It's just a pyro and they just run in with an uber and just kill it. They could have probably done that without an uber. Now the medic is disconnected from the rest of his team. We're gonna see a taunt kill. Nope. There's a spy! He's gonna be trying to retreat. And he has the Uber saw. And here's the situation you encounter. So you have you. I, I don't think, like, he should know that you are here, but it doesn't. Neither does him. He's busy with this sniper asshole over here. And, uh. I'm just gonna spoil a little bit. There's actually going to be some stickies over here fairly soon. But he's in a good spot to do some uber saw damage. And he... This is like a split second of hesitation equals uh, you die. So as a medic, don't ever, ever, ever hesitate to anything. It's better to die trying than die not trying. GPS 2014. Pat on back there, buddy. The cart is not moving. So I think they're they're very much reliant on Uber to do anything, and even though they killed the sentry, they were still unable to push the cart. I mean, where where is everybody? It seems like the guy playing the pocket role right now is the scout. It should be the heavy, but I don't know where the heavy is. I can't check the scoreboard to see where he is. That's not the scout! The scout was really literally with the medic left him, and he almost died. And the soldier is in the tunnel. Guess he doesn't want to rocket jump. Which is fine. And we're just seeing a lot of hesitation, and this soldier 
is not a spy, in fact. I would have thought he was, because that's really suspicious behavior. And, uh, yeah, this is generally... Generally a bitch, because... Like... The game gives you vision, like audio cues on what's going on. Like he has a full Uber, he could just at any point in time just go. Here is the heavy finally joining up. They might go with this heavy, and there, there he goes. The sentry is back up, and this is good. You know, paying attention. Don't really need to pay attention to the enemy when you're, you know, invulnerable. The pyro seems to be very unfocused on what he wants to do. Okay, he's dead now, but like whatever. Can I? Can I move? Uh, this is why I don't like to do this thing, because I have to do... Okay. Ah! Fucking demos, why? Oh, God. I'm used to replays and Surge TVs, they're easy to handle. Basically, the pyro should have gone with the heavy gun in front, taking the pushback, and instead he was just like... Can I drive now? Yeah, now I can for some reason. Like, the pyro... Like, the medic was pushing this way, right? And then... The sentry and all that kind of crap was here. God fucking damn it. If I let go of the mouse, I reset, so... Instead of helping the heavy, he just ran up there. Like, I don't... Like... Oh, God damn it. Anyway... As a medic, there's not a whole lot you can do if your team isn't helping each other. And that was a good example of the pyro not helping him. And as a medic, you see all this shit, you know? That's important as a medic. Let your team know that they're not helping each other. And um, one thing that goes for any team, and there's any advice I can give, is get comfortable losing. Alright, because that's going to happen. You're going to lose. And you're going to blame each other. Don't do that. Uh, however... One philosophy to keep in mind is that it's always your fault that you die. Nobody else is responsible for you dying. Except the medic goes like, if you go around a corner, I'll uber you. And then you go around a corner and the medic doesn't uber you and you fucking die. And the medic goes like, haha, psych! Uh, then, then, you know, maybe. Maybe, but usually not. So now they have another uber. They've actually soft pushed this, taking down the defenses without that much of an uber. And they are going to go and attack and cluster everybody around the cart and have times four on that because times three is the fastest. So I would have uh, suggested only have times three in a cart and the rest push ahead. That's usually how they do, but I guess they want to go for more death ball. Also allows the medic to have more overheal, but you're more vulnerable to, you know, crits, creed, uh, stickies, and splash damage in general. But so far, we have seen that the medic hasn't died to headshots and hasn't died to backstabs. And that is two important key factors to know that, you know, his positioning is not all that bad. He's very safe, he has full control of his surroundings, and this is what you should do as a medic. Very early pop here. Didn't flash the soldier, should have done that. Maybe a bit too slow. Don't uh, hesitate to share the Uber, because your heavy actually didn't do all that much. He just kind of stood there. So one thing you could relay to the rest of your team is just when you have Uber, get a positional advantage. You don't necessarily need to kill a lot of shit, you just need to, you know, get where you want to be, and where you want to be on upward last is in the upper area. If you can control that, you control uh, pretty much the entire last area if you can do that. It's gonna overheal the heavy, overheal the pyro, and fill the Uber very, very slowly, and it doesn't really seem to be doing a whole lot. There's really not a lot happening, and then he goes back to the cart, leaving his heavy alone. The pyro actually fo followed him. There's... I, like, I don't even know, man, what's going on. Like, there's literally nothing pressuring them at the moment, and there's not a whole lot to say. However, he is keeping his basics, he is uh, positioning himself so he doesn't take a lot of damage. He will see every single spy that comes, and he is generally protected by his team and overheals everyone, making his build, build Uber a lot faster, and he doesn't peek unnecessarily although I would have liked him to do so, in case his team isn't relaying the information they should. So flashing the Uber around and pushing the cart, everything is good. Bring out the Uber saw, gonna whack the medic once, and falling to the bed, but hey, you won victory, yay! Well, now for some reason the uh, recording goes wonky. Now I'm gonna pause. 
Okay, so gates are about to open. Let's take a look at defense. So, regular Uber on defense. Just gonna hang around this corner. This positioning, I really like. It's very good as a medic because uh, you can uh, you can do a lot from here. Gates have opened, and he, you will see everything that goes through except when they go in the middle passage area, but I guess your teammates will spot that, especially the sniper. You will have full control of that, so very nice here. Gonna overheal. It's important that you overheal the soldiers and demo man on this map because it's a very jump-friendly map, and the more health they have, the more jump they can do. And the more jump they can do, the more headache there's for the enemy, and the more headache there's for an enemy, the more the enemy will leave you alone. So it's a win-win. But everything, everyone is like clustered together, and this is not necessarily the best uh, idea, but they're doing fairly well. There's not a whole lot of pressure being applied here. Some rockets here and there. You might see some players go for a soldier and just shoot and hit this little uh, pipe here to do splash damage on the medic. But the enemy team doesn't do that, so we don't have to worry about it. Like, you adjust accordingly to what the enemy's doing. And uh, they're just holding and healing. And it's just healing the heavy right now. But the enemy team is really pushing, so... It's not that difficult. Uber's just too late. Kind of a uh, mistake there. I'm gonna hold on to the Uber. Better Uber yet too early and then too late. He is actually on the red team even though he's... His uh, minigun turned blue there because... Demos. Did the... Uh, pay attention, he did actually see the spy die. So, full uh, control of that. Gonna overheal... Not the sniper, because seriously. Fuck him. <laughs> overheal the sniper. Especially here, it's important. Or real everyone, because it helps you build uber faster as well. He helped by his pyro and he's looking around. I would like to see him check his back a little bit more, but the spy isn't really causing that much of a problem, so... Like I said earlier, you adjust. Like, if the spy never kills you, you don't necessarily need to, you know, watch your back, so... Same goes for sniper. You can be pretty careless until the sniper kills you. When the sniper kills you, you adjust your play, but until he kills you, you don't really have to. Play the way you want, making you more comfortable. Stuff like that. So he's healing everyone, and then due to that fact, he's building a pretty quickly. We'll have one pretty soon. And they're just having a solid uh, defense right now. Just gonna speed things up a little bit. Nothing's really happening because the enemy team. Uh, I'm not sure what they're doing. I can't really tell, but uh, it seems that they're dying a lot. Is my guess because nothing really happens. The sentry is still up. The sniper is still up. The medic hasn't been pressured. The demo is still up. And, uh, the NH are not doing the best. Oh, here comes a surprise heavy. Get some force out of the medic. Nice uh, reply there. And the demo man just kills absolutely two things. Healing is heavy. The scout did not commit. And then he did. Killing the heavy. Out with the needles. Killing the scout. Actually, the reason I like this kind of play the, the best, it's because it reminds me of how I play medic. You know, I use the syringes. Not really a fan of the crossbow because whenever I pull out my... Uh, shooting weapon as a medic, I want to kill whoever is bothering me. I don't need to heal from a distance. The spy, you know, see, as soon as he saw the spy, he gets one free Uber off of him. That is 25% uh, Uber with an Uber saw. This is exactly how you should treat uh, spies, you know. Being aggressive with the Uber saw is definitely something that a lot of medics doesn't do enough. Keep in mind, if you know how to count, uh, if you see a soldier shooting one, two, three, four rockets, uh, you can actually Uber saw him and he won't actually be able to kill you if you're at full health because he will shoot him, shoot you, you're as close to him, you do damage to him and he hurts himself and he dies and you live. Granted, you will have very little health left, but he is dead and you're alive and you got free Uber off of it. He's gonna go around and pay attention to this, not really paying attention to what his demo man is doing. He shouldn't really have to. He should pay attention to the back in case there's someone who wants a flash. Go for the scout. No, he runs away. Slightly aggressive style here. Very nice. And we're just gonna speak to the healing, healing. There's literally not a lot of whole more to say, really, than, you know, he does pretty good basics. It's pretty much up to his team, who, you know, like as a medic, you kind of just follow whoever, you know, does the most damage. Usually it's the demo or the heavy, but, you know, as for main callers go, people who do a lot of talking and do a lot of organizing. Uh, I don't think like a medic would essentially be that great at that. Although a lot of people might disagree, but I think like the medic kind of just follows around what the heavy and the dead woman does, and they're the ones making the decisions of uh, where to go and what to do. However, a medic can do that. However, as a medic, you will do a whole lot better if your main focus is to just heal and pay attention to stuff, and you don't really need to talk all that much other than 
like I have Uber and the enemy has Uber because Believe it or not, you know, the less you multitask, the better you get better at your tasks. So if you're a medic, you have to pay attention to, you have to pay close tabs on what your team is doing and what the enemy is doing and your own Uber and the enemy's Uber. Chances are you're going to lower all of, uh, you know, those tasks individually. But if all you have to do is just focus on healing and looking out for spies and just paying attention to your own Uber and not necessarily paying that much attention to the enemy team, you're going to be able to do that a whole lot better. So... It might be more natural for players who deal a lot with the enemy to do the main calling. Like, um... Dem oh, actually, he <laughs> got an assist on his demo man friend there. And, uh, they actually hold us for quite a while, and it's currently onto overtime, and they barely managed to do that. He's gonna bravely run away... ...and start to heal his heavy friend. Yes. They're gonna do the famous tunnel hold, and the soldier should really not be in the tunnel. He should be up top, where he can jump like an eagle. But he is alive, and the medic is building, kind of. One thing that also goes for your team is that a lot of heavies, they really start to bitch and whine and moan if they don't have constant overheal on them. Here's the thing, as a heavy, you should be absolutely comfortable doing shit with a mere 300 health. And your team should also be comfortable taking damage. Like, taking damage and not and surviving should be part of your plan, because it, first of all, it helps with aggression, and second of all, it makes your uber build faster without you being passive, so you're actually building uber while being aggressive. So now they're on top, and the medic actually, he runs around. Swopo actually stops the cart, maybe it does a lot of damage, stopping scouts and whatnot. And we're gonna bravely stay. Not run away. There's actually an enemy heavy. Out with the Uber saw. One, two. And his heavy's friend is dead. He's dead as well. But thanks to the power of fast forwarding, we are alive again. And shit has gone down. Shit has most likely absolutely gone down. And he dies to a reflect rocket from Pyro. And we're gonna fast forward again. So we lost a couple of rounds. We're now behind. And, uh. So far, I can agree with what he does. You know, as a medic, it's not like I said. Very much dependent on your team, what they're doing. If your team is playing like a bunch of douches, you will also be playing like a douche. I guess. Because you're only, like as a medic, you're only amplifying whatever your team is doing. Similar to the scout, to the spy and the sniper. Like, it doesn't matter how good you are as a sniper or as a spy, if your team is not giving you the, uh, if you're not able to support the team in the way you can, you will not be able to do much. And uh, should I give him that sniper overheal? He died. Healing that pyro? Not very important because the pyro didn't even peak and he was in no position to take any damage. Also, he has 175 health, meaning a sniper can quickscope him. So, heal prioritization there. If you have, uh, like, healing and prioritization is, can be kind of hard. It's like a feeling you get and it's different from team to team. But I would just say heal whoever is in the front. Whoever shows the most aggression and who are in the front should be the one that's getting the most overheal. And when they retreat and fall in the back, well, you just heal whoever is in front again. So they're not actually opting to hold the upper area and have the sentry in a very peculiar spot. Maybe not the most optimal one, but this is iron and teams are not as experienced, like platinum and in the higher division, the sentry is always in the one of two places, but never there. I guess that's more of a pub spot, but I guess it works. Sentry is still up, and as long as it works, keep it that way. If it doesn't work, you change it. Might be a spy behind him right now. Is there though? He is, doesn't know because he doesn't take his back. That doesn't matter. Time runs out and they win. And that is a good round. Switch. Start again, I think. Yeah. Setup time. We're gonna be seeing similar strategy once again. Wait for the gates to open. So they're probably gonna do the same thing as they did the first round. So as a medic, you just do whatever you've done. He's healing both of them, keeping them both overheal at the same time. High micromanagement, healing the scout as well. Just being really, really quickly. Uh, that's why I want a source TV, because watching the medic, first point of view, if the medic's really quick, is really dizzying if you're not a medic. So far, he's pretty safe. He will see everything that comes together, even a spy. Pyro's there as well to reflect and push anyone away, so you got that going for him as well. There is an ammo pack respawning here, so they will be able to do a lot of stuff with that. 
soldier here actually gets taken out. Might have been wanting to pop Uber to keep him alive, but uh, not. Sometimes, you know, that's a decision you have to make yourself. Not necessarily a right or wrong choice there, but I personally will pop Ubers to save teammates to keep them alive. Because an Uber only lasts for 8 seconds, while a teammate that is alive lasts longer. Hopefully. So they're kind of forced now. Heavy runs out of ammo. That's a bit of a rookie mistake there. I'm just gonna go back to the sniper, and they actually don't. Well, the dispenser, the, uh, the sentry's actually in a different spot this time. It's level three, and they're holding without a dispenser. And the heavy only has 83 bullets left, and he might run out again. So he is well, he's gonna throw the sandwich, and actually because of that, he's gonna die. No matter, gonna try and run away. Dies to the heavy. That's okay. Soldier is alive. Can be doing the damage. We have respawned. Can be healing everyone. Personally, from uh, experience, heal the heavy last. And actually, how... Well, that's good. Keep the needles out. If you didn't wear it, if you wasn't that shaky, if you are a bit more confident in your own abilities, you would have been able to kill that pyro. Because keep in mind, medics run faster than pyros. So he won't actually be able to catch up to you if you run correctly. But that's kind of hard. The pyro is still here. Nobody seems to be helping you, and as a medic, the pyro is doing exactly what he wants. He's keeping you away from his team, and you need your teammates to help you. He's still here. He's still in the spot. Still. Nobody... And they've actually capped the point, and the heavy is... Like, the, like he is the way the fuck over there. Like... He's shooting a spy. Meantime, your team is taking a fucking beating. This is more not like a whole lot of coaching, it's just more like your team doesn't do what they're supposed to do and they leave you hanging and they leave you alone and burn for all eternity until you get a health back or the burning goes over. Finally regrouping with some of his team, eventually, after being alone for a really long time. Actually being with the engineer, should be with this demo. But I uh, might just want to build that Uber to defend. His team is also really scattered right now. And as a medic, if your team is scattered, you should relay that information. So I'm just waiting for stuff to happen. And the team is really pushing all that hard. It's fine. Sees him coming. He doesn't get stabbed. I don't think he's died to a single backstab this entire game. Or a headshot, as far as I know. So, uh are definitely doing the right thing. Like, if you never get stabbed and you never get shot, you're doing something right. Uh, but if you if you win, like, if you never get stabbed and you never get shot and you lose, you're doing something wrong. If you do that and you win, you're doing something right. So here they have a full Uber. Pops it very early. Better to pop it too early than too late. Should have flashed his heavy there. Thus meaning his heavy actually went down. So if we just go back just a slight here. Let's see, two... It's that many. One, two, three. Yeah. That's a bit of a mistake, and it's kind of like just nitpicking at this point, but that was like one of the few mistakes I actually saw him do here that he could have actually done something with other than just Ubering too late, but that might just have been a minor, minor fluke. God, I love the, re the demo system. Man, it's this thing. Look at all his stats. Alright, I'm prepared for situations like these, and um, I actually have a book here. It's in Norwegian, but it's like, how many nipples did George, George Bush have? And it's just a, a, a book full of random facts, but until this fucking thing loads, I'm going to recite some to you. Let's see here. History. Still hasn't loaded. In USA, in England, witches were hanged, not burned. Okay, so Monty Python, not exactly accurate. God damn it, this fucking take forever. <sighs> this is why I like replays on Source TVs, because demos fucking suck. 
Like, what is, what is it even, okay, what is it even doing? It's using 15% of my CPU speed. I went back a thousand ticks. Okay, cancel this shit. And maybe I had one. No, it should be enough. Let's see. Ah! Uh, God, I fucking hate this shit. Now I need to go under here and go video and, and advance and disable multi car render because by God, this fucking. Uh. Does. Having two cores fuck up the demo system. Jesus. Alright, so pause, go two. How was your day? Was your day any good? Mine was short, because I woke up at three... PM having snoozed every 30 minutes. Okay, finally. It's actually faster to quit the demo, reload it, and then fast forward than it is to back 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 a few frames. God. This is stupid. Then I have to of course enable the multi cores again. Because by god, this valve like us fucking having fucking around with this thing. Is this even the right tick? Yeah it is. So okay, so he gets a full over. And the demo gets Yeah, okay, so he does that and he sees his heavy right here. Alright, so here he is, you're gonna slow it down. And he sees his heavy and his heavy's actually taking a lot of damage, but he opts to let his heavy die. Then let his demo is taking absolutely no damage. Uh let go of the Uber. That might just have been a mistake, but in that case, boo! You let your heavy die for no reason when you could have saved him and actually caused the other heavy to die. Thankfully, there's no follow-up from the enemy team and they weren't able to actually capitalize on your team not having a heavy as of yet. And you spent your Uber on seemingly nothing. So that goes just for game sense and knowing your basics. Basics is use your Uber to keep your teammates alive, but now your heavy's back up and nothing really happened, so doesn't really matter at this point, but if you're, the enemy would have gotten the momentum and actually crushed your defenses, uh, that would have been uh, the key point where you could have actually stopped that. You didn't. Now they lost their engineer to a sniper, and uh, hopefully the other sniper killed uh, the enemy sniper. So the sentry's still up, but it's very weak right now, and it's about to go down. Yep, down it goes. Teammates' movements look like spies, especially your friend the Pyro. He moves just like a spy, except that when he's not, you know, using fire. He has a Fuber, uh, a Fuber that is a full Uber. He flashes the engineer, allowing him to pick up the dispensary, which allows him to build faster. If that was the dispensary he was carrying, did not see. It doesn't really matter. He was carrying something. Uh, it seems to have been the dispensary because it's level three. Attacks and he brings out the uh, syringes instead of just healing. Tiny, tiny mistake there. And uh, they need to get the hold the upper area. They might not know that. This is his iron. He has experience, but they did kill the enemy heavy. He's healing everyone and they're taking a beating from above. And now he should really be aiming at the domain to see how much health he has, uh, which he doesn't. I'm pretty sure he's confident the domain is fine. But yeah, that's one thing you can do as a medic in a situation like this. Just look around. Yeah, he was actually in the red, so... You should actually look... Like, when you have time like this, just look at your teammates and see how much health they have. Because that is very important. Making sure everybody has overheal and... It's generally fit for fights. Back. You're getting forced by a dropping heavy, and your heavy doesn't follow him. Could have flashed the soldier there. He yeah, decided to retreat, so be passive. They are defending, however. Good offense is a good defense. It's a spy. Going at him with the Uber, so that's the right mentality. Not be afraid. It's taken out. So far, 
Mr. Slowpaw has been doing all right until now. He died, not a lot you can do about it. Either you stay in spawn and die, or you stay in spawn and lose, or you try and defend and die. They are defending, it seems. He's now up. Bit hesitant in the beginning there, not much of E could have done, but uh, they kept around, and now they're going to be attacking and fix the timer. And they're going to go for the same strategy again, just go and attack. Because this was the best of three. And, uh, you should really have Pyro in front. Like, the demo just goes all on his own, and his heavy takes forever to go there. Like, look how passive he is. You're attacking. You can afford to suicide as much as you want. And the, the medic is actually outside of the door before the heavy, and that heavy is just way too passive. So, you can t tell Mr. Brightside to fucking go in the front and shoot and take some damage. He fucking has 450 health. He can afford to take some damage. He's actually hiding behind a rock at full health. That is something we see at pubs. I'm not really rattling on. But as a medic, what can you do? Like, okay, we're supposed to go in and uber the heavy. Yeah, the heavy's hiding behind a rock at full health. Like, still, he should be in the front and shooting shit. Put it, pushing the car, he's pretending he's a scout. Medic, he's walking around, hasn't seen a spy yet. They see, and right now, the enemy is on the retreat, they only have a soldier here, so they could potentially go and attack if the pyro and the heavy went up top, and instead of having time six on the cart, they could just go, but oh, a sentry here! Uber has been popped. Heavy uh, gets pushed back by uh, Pyro. Up the pyro first. That's generally why you usually send it up Pyro first to take uh, care of the initial other Pyro to just air blast them back. Fast forwarding again. And now in front. Now going on top here. The soldier's actually where he needs to be, where he can jump and soar like an eagle. Moving okay, forward. There we go. Up his soldier, that's important. The rest is out near the cart, they can wait. Don't need to overheal the heavy, he's fine and he's also in the back, so he is good. Also battling the scout by yourself. Slow reaction time for all of the rest of your team as well. And, uh, yeah, uh, pushing forward. There's not a whole lot of resistance here. They're just pushing, and finally, it looks like they're gonna be moving up around inside the cart here. Healing the pyro, that was low in health. Pyro will. Most likely, yep, healing him up. A bit passive right now. Like a full over. Oh, no, an enemy heavy, gonna might get the force, yep, he gets the force off, and then he retreats, but there's actually nothing here. So you, you can just run, like, here I would have liked him to just go ahead and just take a look and see what's up, because, uh, you know, maybe your spy hasn't spotted, but you're invulnerable, so you can just go around a corner and see what's here, and you can go like, ah! There's a sentry, so if we at just any point in time go through this window here, we can actually kill this pretty easily. But it didn't, so you won't have that uh, have that knowledge. Heavy, out with the Uber saw, misses, and um, survives somehow. 13 health, doesn't commit. There's also an enemy spy who stabs your heavy. And then you're just gonna push the cart to do the scout and engineer's job. Well, the scout engineer goes off on adventures. And, uh, yeah, I gotta be building soon. Not. Scout goes for the crusher and actually takes out the medic. He's dead. We're back. We'll go in for the final push here. Scout's on his ass once again. And, uh, a little help from his minis entry. Takes out the scout with funny needles. So if you're using the needles, you're definitely most combat equipped for retreating combat, dealing with scouts. First team is dead, just gonna build here and uh, try and give up as little ground as possible, because you don't want the enemy team to be able to push out. Having a sniper there will definitely help. And then turning around. Uh, right now he has a very good uh, good overview of where his teammates are, and he will see kind of any kind of spy that comes in, hopefully. Yep, he's looking around pretty quickly, and that's what you do as a medic. He's paying more attention to his enemy team. He's not really paying that much attention. The sentry actually got taken out by someone. Of course, we don't have access to the comps. We don't actually know their strategy. Maybe their scout's like super awesomely good and just kills everything. But we 
do not know that, because I don't have a Source TV, so I can't check that. So we're gonna go with an Uber. The Heavy's gonna opt to not gain any ground, although he could have gone closer. Uh, you can often hint to a Heavy where you want to go. If you just run in the front, you look at him and you just yell help. Or follow me, you fat fuck. Then he might win. Might do that. And Medic going in for the super cap. And they do. Victory. Yay. And that was the game. Yay. A little over an hour. Jeez, that was long. But uh, as for coaching, like, I can't. It's hard to coach someone when the Medic is better than that heavy it's like uh, positioning wise he likes you know this guy slow paw he had some good positioning he was paying attention to the his teammates he was cat like he didn't I don't think he died to a spy or a sniper once but uh, it's like the general thing we always see in iron and the lower divisions is a lot of passivity and a lot of reading situations wrong but uh, if you just want a general tip is Go forward until you see something that stops you from going forward. That usually works. And if a sniper kills you, try dodging. So, that was that. If you want me to do analysis of certain players, in the high divisions, or want more coaching episodes like this, please uh, submit your Source TV demos, preferably, instead of POVs. POVs are fine, but they can be a bitch to work with, because the system really fucking sucks. Uh, so with that, uh, next week is going to be the Reserve Shooter, both Soldier and Pyro Edition, so you have a whole week to get those replays. And I know that re getting replays these days are kind of a pain in the ass because most servers having replays enabled are playing like Dr. Mario or whatever. Also, there's a Steam group, and right now I am starting to assemble my community balance advisor list, which is a list of items I think needs a proper fix. And it's in the discussion area of the Steam group. You can find it there and you can post if you agree or just watch it or whatever. You don't even have to go there. You don't care. You don't have to. But it's definitely there and may or may not be forwarded to a Valve employee at some point. So I'm looking to go through a few iterations there, but it's basically like a few fixes here and there uh, to see if uh, people agree with me, my proposed fix that's in the Steam group, which is in the description and shit below that you can check out. So thank you guys for watching. Next week's going to be the Reserve Shooter. After that, I have absolutely no idea, but we will have something.